When I was younger, I think it was probably levelled at me. It was all about kind of raw kind of pace and playing on the shoulder, running behind, which, listen, it's, it's, it's a part of a striker's job. That's not, but I wouldn't say it was anything new that I've done. It's just, it's just part of a striker's job to be a threat, to work the back line, to ask them questions constantly. So whether that means you're running beyond or, or you're coming off and trying to link, and I still did that even back then. I've, I've, I've watched some old, old Hibs videos where I'm still, as a, as a 19 year old, when I first really broke into the team and had that year, uh, but like before I moved to Rangers, I, I was doing all that, like still linking the play, still, like I said, maybe a few yards quicker back then. But for me, the game really moved on when I came here and I worked with the lads that I'd worked with, Ronald De Boers, Tory Flows, Dodges, Michael Moles, Rod Wallace, like they're all real, real top strikers at the, at the club at the time. So you could. And you couldn't fail to learn under these guys. And then, again, moving away to, to Wolves, played with some fantastic players down there. And not just about being a striker, just, just about being a footballer. Paul Ince, I mean, what a, what a legend he is. And he uh, played a huge part in not just my education, I would say, Jolene Lescott was a young lad at the time, Lee Naylor was a young lad at the time, Keith Andrews all, all went on to have really good careers. And these, these kind of lads affect you. And if, listen, if you're, I mean, the manager used the term to be a sponge and learn, like, if you can't, suck in everything, all the, all the experiences that they've had and, and the knowledge that they've got and, and, and make yourself better, then you're probably not, not doing your job right.